How about an APU-based system? I know that's what you guys want. A lot of people have been asking for an updated $400 rig. So I'm gonna put together a $400 rig based on AMD's A10 5800K. And uh, all the uh, AMD haters, shut the hell up. Sitting on the desk here, we've got the Honey Badger. It doesn't give a shit. It doesn't give a shit if you watch the video about the Honey Badger either. It's our editing rig. Also, maybe our LAN rig. If we go to a LAN party, I'll be taking that with me. So it's our just really powerful mobile rig. You can check out the video on that here. Is it there? Is the link there? They better be there. But now let's talk about this $400 rig. So for the CPU, we've got the AMD A10 5800K. It's a 3.8 gigahertz quad core with it's quite capable at running games at 720p, some games at 1080p. Um, so it's a pretty good way to go. And um, you do not need to buy a graphics card because the graphics card is built in. For the motherboard, we're using the ASRock FM2A75M-DGS. It's a micro ATX motherboard. And uh, I like this one because we have six, six gigabit per second SATA ports. We have USB 3. Uh, we have one PCI Express uh, 2.0, it's a 16X slot. And then we have one of the uh, one speed slots and we also have pci so we've got a, a legacy some things are future proof this one is past proof so if you have an old legacy pci card you can use it in this for the memory i'm grabbing g skill rip jaws i'm um, getting eight gigabytes of that it's 1866 and this motherboard can handle that no problem also it's 1.5 volt and the cast latency is 10 so that's some very capable memory with some good specs for the storage this is most likely going to be a gaming rig or a rig for media so I really would like to get an SSD, but in this price range, I want a lot of storage. So if you don't have an extra mechanical hard drive laying around, grab a Seagate Barracuda 1.5 terabyte uh, hard drive, 7200 RPM, and those can be had now for around $80 on sale on the internet, so that's nice. For the case, I like the elegance and simplicity of Fractal Design. So I'm gonna grab a Fractal uh, Design Core 1000 USB 3.0 model. That just came out, like it's just coming out like right now, before the Fractal Design Core 1000 uh, was nice, but didn't have USB 3, but now it does, so that's really cool. And those can be had for just over $40. There's a lot you can do with those. For the power supply, I'm grabbing a Cooler Master GX450W. It's an 80 plus bronze certified power supply, and uh, that fits my criteria. You can find those on sale for 30 bucks. So that's very nice. It's very important to get an 80 plus certified uh, power supply, even with a budget rig like this, you want to make sure that you're using a good power supply because a bad power supply can kill everything. And then you might kill yourself because you'll be so mad about your $400 machine. If that's all you have to live for, you need to go out right, leave like leave right now and go outside. Just walk around, absorb the world, climb a mountain, watch a bee like a bird. Uh, optical drives are mostly useless. I don't use them. I haven't used them in a long time. That one's got one that I haven't even plugged into the motherboard. It's just, it's just a SATA cable, just lonely, just dangling, and dangling in there, and I don't want to reach in and plug it in because I don't care that much. Anyway, how about a light on? Uh, I has 124-04 DVD CD writer for $14.99. That's nice and cheap. If you need one, you can do that. The total on this machine is $396.95. So I, I think that's pretty good. Now you might be able to put together a, a rig with a, a graphics card and a really cheap CPU and get a few extra FPS. But this one, you do have an empty PCI Express slot, so you could get a graphics card down the road. Up to you. And these days, I mean, I know there's some good i3s out there. Uh, and if you couple a good i3 with a good graphics card, you can get some nice speed. Um, and if you're doing rendering and editing and that sort of thing, some of the i3s do have quick sync, and I like that. But I'd rather have, for gaming, a true quad core uh, versus a dual core with hyper threading. And that's just me. Maybe we'll do some benchmarks. We've got both of those things laying around in the studio. So uh, we'll do some benchmarks and get back to you. But right now, if I had $400 and I wanted to play some games, and watch some media, do all that kind of stuff, that's what I get. If you guys have questions, jump on the forum. That's where everybody lives. I live there sometimes too. You can also email me, inbox at techsyndicate.com. Subscribe. The link's over there. And um, go outside, see the world. It'll, it'll change your life. Or just stay inside and play games all day. I don't care anymore. See you next time.
Whoa, I can't go at the end of this video.